Taking this bee pollen with this water, and it be having me real wide awake, lit. And I ain't never felt like this before. So y'all gonna get some of this good energy this morning, man. Got a good show for you. Gonna keep you laughing, keep you informed and entertained at the same time. Miss Shanika, what you got coming? Whoop! You already know we got to talk about the biggest thing happening today and get inside this word on the streets news. I'm with all that, and you know we got some money for you for the day dilemma. And are you smarter than Young Jock? Shout out, shout out! What's happening? It's absolutely crazy over here. Find out why so always say that the 12 inches is really made for. It's crazy, and it's coming up on the crazy report. I'm scared to even know, but I guess we're going to find out this morning. So make sure you keep it locked on this Toxic Tuesday with your faves. Young Jack in the streets morning. Take over. What's poppin'? Pop, poppin'? We are now live on your radio. That's right. We got to talk about it on this Toxic Tuesday. All right, let's get right into it. Former President Donald Trump can't find an insurance company to underwrite his $464 million Dollar bun. The former president is on the brink of being forced to surrender some of his most valuable real estate properties to help pay that $454 million civil fraud judgment in New York. He's already admitted that he doesn't have the nearly half a billion dollars in cash. His lawyers revealed that more than 30 firms said they were unable or, quote, unwilling to accept the risk associated with such a large bond. That is a large bond. Yeah. How often do bonds like that go through? Uh, whenever somebody's trying to go to appeals court, so whenever you get a ruling and then you want to take it to appeal, they Sir, have to secure the bond. You said a lot of what people should know, but my question was, how often do they do bonds that big? They don't. Oh, that's yeah, they half don't. a billy, yeah, boy. Yeah, they don't. And that's why this is preposterous, and that's why it's probably <laughs> not going to stand up in uh, appeals court. You know, you know that ain't even an SAT word. I love it. We need more words like that. Boy said, this is preposterous. I love it, man. Hey, hey we're going to definitely keep y'all in the know as more uh, comes out on this because I'm just curious as how it's going to play out. Bunny Bunny coming up. Did I say Bunny Bunny? I did. Bunny Bunny's coming up with Around the Streets in 90 Seconds. Shout out, shout out with the crazy boy. We yeah. lit. It's toxic on this Tuesday. Young Jack in the Streets morning takeover. <laughs> Check the news. Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover is T-H-E-E, the Bonnie Banks. And I'm going to get you around your streets in only 90 seconds. Now, owners of the Miami Beach Clubs claim that spring break curfew, curfew, excuse me, curfew has caused them thousands of dollars. Can you fault the city for taking these steps? It's kind of hard to fault them because, again, we want them to be safe. We don't want Miami to shut down. We want people to want to come to South Beach. Right down the street. Under normal circumstances, how crowded would this restaurant be right now? Uh, I would have at least half of the tables and maybe some people at the bar. I so have it would no not one. Be- Bolivar Restaurant is empty at 6 o'clock on a Sunday. Wow. So the, there was just a shooting we reported yesterday in Jacksonville. So it looks like people are going, because um, they can't go to Miami, Fort Lauderdale. But apparently it's still quiet in Fort Lauderdale according to some video footage. Now, a witness in the internationally watched trial of the acclaimed rapper Young uh, Young Thug pleaded with the judge and attorneys to excuse him from the trial. Now, Adrian Bean back on the stand and he testified he doesn't recall anything from 2013. Prosecutors claim Young Thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams, played a role in the robbery. The state says Williams was able to get away. Long-term use of drugs has affected his memory. Wow. I guess that could be a decent excuse. Mm-mm. They had them on audio snitching. They had them on audio telling It don't mean everybody. your excuse can't be I forgot. 
<laughs> well, they, so, good thing they recorded it. Oh, there, are, there you go. Now, if you want to use Target self checkout lanes, you have to limit your cart to 10 or less. Target started slowly rolling out that policy last fall and says self checkout became twice as fast at those locations. Target also says it plans on opening more traditional lanes that are staffed by employees for customers who have more than 10 items or just prefer that helping hand. Thank goodness, because I'm tired of going in the self checkouts and y'all got 25, 30, and you just slowly scanning bleep i'm like no this is supposed to be express checkout <laughs> okay that's around the streets in only 90 seconds t-h-e-e the bonnie banks on all social media platforms shawty shawty's got the craziest thing you heard all day yeah, boy. it's the crazy report on young jock in the streets morning takeover yo it's the craziest story you'll hear all morning the crazy report is on right now shawty shawty run it down yeah run it down what we about to do, man? We about to run down the subway and see why they try to say you got to take the whole thing. Executives discovered that many customers are apparently purchasing footlong sandwiches and eating the entire 12 inches by themselves. Our footlong subs have always been meant to be shared among two or more friends. Eating an entire foot of food shouldn't be possible for most people. Wow, if you catch a woman and she got 12 inches of meat, I don't think she's sharing it. She walked 12 inches out of me. We had to go to Subway three times. <laughs> and that's crazy. You know I know crazy because I'm crazy. And crazy knows crazy. I ain't got nothing but the cheese. Uh, cash up, you didn't follow it all. <laughs> Y'all don't know what it is. It's Charlie, what my name is. What the crazy report? Follow me on all social platforms at Shout the Comedian. Hi. Huh? National days. Bia, Bia. Yeah. The man said you're going to have to go back three times. Hey, okay. man. National Let's Laugh Day. Let's laugh. <laughs> I can't laugh. Hey, Clutch, if you're listening, my phone is in the Uber, so could you please circle back, bring it back downtown? <laughs> bring the man phone yeah, back. Yeah, it should be ringing in the back. Yeah, it's ringing in the back. We tracking. You see where you yeah, at, but uh, you, you ain't picking up the phone. Yeah, yeah. He left his hat, too. <laughs> <laughs> National 3D Day. <laughs> Uh, I'm for it. Did, did y'all know today spring begins? I'm going to win today, I'm telling you. <laughs> National Red Nose Day. Mm-hmm. Oh, T for Two Tuesday. I wonder where did that come from? T for Two. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. Celebrity birthdays, man. It's spicy season. Happy birthday to the girl, Yandy Smith. Yeah. My boy, Bun B, real gangster with it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Man, hold up. Did you know today is Bruce Willis' birthday? Oh, happy birthday. Die He's hard. Hard to kill. Man, he definitely going through some real cognitive uh, neurological issues right now. So, prayers up for him and happy birthday. Yeah, man. That last movie I saw, he was a little different. But it was a good movie, though. Yeah. But I could definitely see he was a little different. But you know what, you know what else? He can't communicate anymore. Mm. Yeah. It's that far. Mm-hmm. But prayers up to you, brother. You've lived a long, beautiful life, a very successful life. And uh, I pray that, you know, you 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 find peace in the space you're in in the present. How about Amen. that? Amen. Amen. All right, let's get into it. Local birthdays, because local birthdays matter. Let's yeah. go, Swin. It's about that time to wish happy birthday to all local celebrities. We got the names it's the up, birthday up. wish list. When young jock in the streets Come on back with that phone clip. It's your birthday. Get the gym. Get the clutch. Where you at? <laughs> <laughs> right now, it's where my birthday crew? It's your birthday. Tell me where my birthday crew? It's your birthday. Oh man, where my birthday crew? It's your birthday. Yeah, yeah, where my birthday crew? It's your birthday. Hey, Leslie Farm. It's your birthday. Christina Will. It's your birthday. Ashara Mahari. It's your birthday. Hey, Sydney Mason. It's your birthday. Amari Carter. It's your birthday. Melissa Gatsby. It's your birthday. What's up, Britt Lowe? It's your birthday. Hey, Tam with the wham. It's your birthday. Let's go with it. Jim, 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 Jim. Hold up. Hold up. It's your birthday. Oh, wow. You suffer, I suffer. You suffer, I suffer. That's how it works. Can't do comparative suffering. If you're hungry, your friend says, you know, people are starving in Africa. So what? I still want lunch. <laughs> ah, Dave Chappelle. One of the greatest to ever do it. Well, he's possibly the biggest to ever do it. Now, CBS, it was just announced that they signed a $2 billion deal with Dave Chappelle for a new late night show. Wow. 
Congratulations. You know, you know. Definitely one of my favorite comedians. When we speak of money now. Billion. It's, 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 it's different. Dang. Well, you got to think. Let's think about it. He was old. 500 million. Once upon a time. And, and they only up. tried to give him 50 million. And that's mm. when he walked away. That's when he was, what was that? Comedy Central? What was, what was that? Comedy Central? So when he was at that point, he was owed half a billion. So these numbers sound so huge, which they are. Let's not negate that. But in the when, when you're speaking of his name, mm. he's made some money. Well, i never seen the Chappelle show. In my life. Wow. Oh Stop. God. Come on. Jesus. God, I'm like, oh, hey, it's good. crazy. I don't like like hood reenactment shows. I don't like stuff like that. So it's not my cup of tea. But I am going look to how, support this look, late look night everybody in the room looking at talk you. show. I'm for real. I don't. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I ain't got I'm nothing barely to say. here with y'all. <laughs> I don't even know. What's your name? Who are you? That's why. That, that's why. That clone Tyrone. That, 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 that them lumps of coal. Shanika. I don't know why my mama named me Shanika. You <laughs> learned to laugh. <laughs> they clone Tyrone. No, for real. I've never seen. I've never seen Baby Boy. I've never seen a list of black movies because stop. just stop, stop, I just stop, please, don't like please, it. stop. You, I don't. Please, I just asked you to stop before you say something crazy. You might well vote for Trump. I only watch Love and Hip Hop because you're on it. You might well come on with the winning team. <laughs> Whoa. Mm-hmm. You said you ain't you never watched. You didn't watch, know that. You never watched My Baby friends Boy. know that about me. I will watch the, like a 40s, 20s classic movie in Man, a get second. your Gone with the Wind face ass out like. of here. I like stuff like Gone with the Wind. Ladies and gentlemen, word on the street, she be bopping, I need more. Yeah. Word on the street, screaming by like on a moped. Word on the streets, I get it popping like a blackhead. Word on the streets, going down like Jock said. It's Young Jock in the streets morning takeover with Miss Shanika. Hear ye, hear ye. I would like to announce that the news that we just did. Can you cut it? Because I, I, I don't want lies on my word on the street. Um, the news that we had just did about uh, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> Inking a $2 billion late night talk show deal. With CBS. With CBS is <laughs> fake news. Yep. The source of the fake news is... Do Shawty's it. investigation team. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I saw, I saw the article. This is the second fake news that Shawty has presented mm. in today. I said two billion? <laughs> there is no deal of the sorts. Shawty, where did you find this story? Oh, it's been looming. It's been looming on Facebook uh, for days. And I've been seeing it and I was checking the source. So I actually found the article on it yesterday and I put it in the group. And I gave y'all a disclaimer. I said, I've been watching this. Uh, <laughs> I said, I've been watching this story for a couple of days and I haven't saw anything substantial. But I found the article Man, by, because I thought it was fake news. Do you Help realize? Me. Now, Help I me. put it in the filter. I didn't get past the filter then. Hey. We've been on here lying this morning. But no, it's fake news. So. This, it had to come from the Democrats. Exactly. Uh, what? <laughs> you know okay. what I'm saying? It's so, fake news. The page in itself that made this story describes itself as a satire page. We post nothing that is real. And that is why wow. black people, some black people do not read. They just look at the headlines. And they be like, ooh, two billion dollars. Wow. Mm. All right. What, what's the man name who got your phone? Uh, Clutch, if you are listening. Clutch, this is a PSA. I am using my word on the streets news to communicate with you right now. Clutch, please bring back Shawty phone. Clutch, your location say Far Road. Yeah. How far are you from us? Come on, pull up. Please, come back downtown. (laughs) Hit the clutch and (laughs) pull up. (laughs) All right. Well, thanks for that. Thank you, sister. let's, Let's get into Caitlyn Jenner. 
and Lamar Odom doing a podcast together? Caitlyn Jenner and Lamar Odom are launching a sports podcast, Keeping Up With Sports. They aim to explore athletic success, drawing from their own achievements in the Olympics and NBA, respectively. The podcast promises personal athlete stories and has sparked interest regarding the Kardashian-Jenner family's reaction. Joined by Zach Hirsch, their debut episode will feature boxing legend Sugar Ray Leonard. You know what? I can definitely respect Caitlyn Jenner for reaching back out to Lamar Odom. You know, he's had his slew of ups and downs in life, and that is going to bring him a substantial check. Yeah, they was bros. I can respect that. They was bros for some time. Yeah, it's just bit magic. Why do people, why why y'all doing this this morning? Doing what? Tell the truth. Caitlyn Jenner is now identifies as and also, a woman. I also spoke in past tense as well. I said they were bros. Yeah, I, I, play, I think they played basketball together. <laughs> Ran track. <laughs> they worked out the hill. They, they, they played hockey. Hang okay, the ball right. <laughs> they were playing pickleball. Why did they button each other button to each other at the brothel? They ain't no way. All to right. Do. Also, <laughs> there is another rumor that is trying to get cleared up out here in these streets. And it's about Bruno Mars mm. allegedly not owing a gambling debt of fifty million dollars. Now, MGM is saying that that is not a true story and I would say the same because they want people to not think that there's anything wrong and to come and fully support Bruno Mars Mm -hmm. so they're saying that he's not in a gambling debt (laughs) anyway lastly Gilbert Arenas is giving out tricking advice NBA player we'll pay whatever for the first night yeah because we got it we got it we got it we don't get for all my future 304s, get you some NBA players. Think about it. The NBA player on the lowest end, on the brokest yeah. NBA, he going to pay you about five grand a month just to f*** with you. So if you got three of them, that's 15 grand a month just on the bottom end. Now, you talking about you got like a James Harden, yeah. Paul George or something, or, or <laughs> me. Yeah. You, you talking about just on f- around with you, you talking about 10, 20 grand a month just to be cool. Man, that made Bonnie Banks day. You still got time, girl. <laughs> Pick me. Y'all Pick me. Terrible. <laughs> All right, that Please is don't the do that. word. It was a joke, and she oh. knew it. I knew it. Oh, y'all would have laughed. I thought I thought it was a real thing. I- Pick me. That's the word on the streets news. I am Miss Shanika. You guys can follow me and Miss Shanika and follow us at Street Morning Takeover. <sighs> Oh, yeah. I don't know what to say after that one, Miss I think y'all crazy. Hey man, we gotta hey just keep it right here where you got it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. Yeah. This this whole thing of what they talking about, uh, Nene Leaks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that coming up. So y- y'all make sure y'all stick around for more young jock in the streets morning take over. Who knows? Young Jack in the streets morning. Take over. We got to get into it, man. It's lit this morning. We got a lot going on. You know, it, we, we human just like you. Things happen. All right, so Miss Shanika. How she, how far would you go to find your phone? <laughs> that's a really good question. I definitely would climb in the manhole. <laughs> you climb the manhole. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, wait whoa, a minute. Whoa. Pause. You mean like <laughs> the in the sewer? sewer. Okay. <laughs> Oh. oh, Jesus, this day is not going right for me. Okay, <laughs> so we put out a PSA for Shawty's phone. Yes. yes. We've had seven different people call us and ask us <laughs> for a description what of the phone. What kind of phone is it? <laughs> First of all, it's unrecognizable. You would never think this that this is Shawty Shawty from the radio, from Comic View, from Wild and Out's phone. Yeah. It is destroyed from the rooter to the tutor. In a pink case. <laughs> So for some odd reason, this man's phone keeps getting displaced. And I think that it's time for an intervention. I think his phone is tired of him. I think your phone is trying to run away secretly. Because this, 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 it happened yesterday. Yes, it happened two days in a row at the same time. It, that phone don't want to come to work. Oh. <laughs> He like you that, can go in there. I'm gonna stay in the car. <laughs> okay, so okay, so if your phone gets lost in the Uber, right? Mm-hmm. You can't call your phone back. So you, you don't can call your phone back. I'm saying. Oh, you, 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 I'm well, saying somebody can call. You your can't phone. call the Uber driver back. I'm sorry. You you said it right. So if you don't have a login, 
if you if you have a situation where you forget your login, a shouted did, and you can't get everybody your email. Get, if everybody tried to give him their phone, but he can't go in because he doesn't know his login. Mm-hmm. How do you get your damn phone? How do you retrieve your phone from Uber? I don't know, but I know who did retrieve their phone. And this is how far would you go to find your phone? DJ Swin, please tell the people <laughs> what you did. <laughs> I, I only went I only went point three miles. On the clock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At like six thirty in the morning. Hold on. But what, what were you? What were, what, what were you in? Because people would assume that you were in a car or something looking for your phone. What were you on? I was on a city scooter. <laughs> Hey, hey y'all. He's looking at every manhole. <laughs> and I found it. I found it on a fire hydrant. Somebody, oh, somebody, oh, like, so somebody put it up there. Now, hit, now hit the funnier part, though, Swim. I'm going to tell you what was the funnier part for me. So I looked at you, and I could see despair in yeah. your eyes. You was looking like it's over with. I said, dog, just... Just because, stay man, I got, positive. I got all of y'all, you know, numbers in my phone. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want nobody, just anybody. Man, we're just talking joke about it. Yeah, everybody, man. too. Boy. You don't got no lock on your phone, Swin. I mean, yeah, of course, dog, but it's hackers out here. For real, yeah, bro. Damn, for real. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no, the sadder part, though, you looked at me like, hold me down, bro. I like, bro, I don't know how to operate none of them boys up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you ain't back. Boy, they going to miss half the show. <laughs> and I watched Swin. Ride off on that bird <laughs> scooter. Yeah. Fast I as hell. Said, what he that on the scooter? But when he came back, what? I could see that he had retrieved his phone because he was smiling mm-hmm. with his smile. million dollar smile. Two <laughs> hours later. I yeah. swear I heard Spongebob on the said. <laughs> so we want to know from y'all, how far would you go to find Ooh, your Jesus. phone? How far would you go to find your phone? 1-844-YUNGJLC. That's 1-844-986-4562. Just tell us a story or something. Call us up. Young Jock in the streets want to take over. That's right. You know what it is. It is a beautiful Toxic Tuesday. Now, just because it's Toxic Tuesday don't mean that it's just a day full of toxicity. Sometimes there are things that lead you to toxic situations. Because mm-hmm. this morning, brother shouted, shouted, lost his phone. Left it. In the Uber. Uh-huh. And we've been trying to track down this Uber morning, Uber driver all morning. We've called Uber. We're waiting on them to call us back. They've sent emails. He can't remember his login. And um, I said, Shada, what would you do for that number? He said, man, I'd pay somebody if they could just. I said, you'll pay some. What you'll pay? He got quiet. The room said, what would you pay, Shada? So what would you pay, Shada? My life. For that phone? Shoot, yeah. My life in it. <clears throat> I ain't got no life without it. it. My friend said, um, click lost item on the app. <laughs> he, he you ain't got to give, your, you give your life to Here's the problem. He doesn't have his login. Yeah. So he can't even log in to find the last trip. Yeah. You feel me? He ain't got my email. It's going to be an adventure. I don't feel you. I want to ask our listeners, though, because a lot of people <laughs> lose things. But when it comes to your phone, that's important. You'll be halfway to work and turn around and go all the way back home to get your phone if you left it. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell yeah. Y'all know I didn't do that several more. See, that's why it's Toxic Tuesday. And uh, we want to know from our listeners, mm. how far would you go to find your phone? Asia, all the way to Alabama, from Savannah, Georgia. Ooh, what happened? I left my phone at Cary Hills, and this guy picked it up, and he was like, I'm on my way to Alabama. And I said, well, how far are you? He said, I'm past Atlanta. I, I got on 95, and I was hitting it. Hey, I know. The Deontay, man, I had that love my phone one day and, and had to go get my girl phone. We got to find my iPhone on the, on her phone. So I find out where the phone was going and end up jumping in the car, traveling the whole direction that her phone was telling me my phone was. Man. <laughs> I got that girl posting on the phone, man, to get that phone. <laughs> Hey. And I went to the house and get my phone too, man. Went straight to their house. Wow. Well, at least Yo, it worked out. So, so that's again, crazy. we're trying to locate Shouter's phone. If y'all have any information on this lost item, please contact us at 1 844 986 4562. It's now time for the day dilemma. If you have a dilemma, here's the opportunity to get rid of it. Right, Miss Shanika? Yes, Cornball. It, it'll only oh. take you about five to 10 minutes to get it done. Again, that number is 1 844 YUNG JOC. Please contact authorities now. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. No matter what I do.
All I think about is you. You are now listening to The Day Dilemma for Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. If you got a dilemma, they got a dilemma, which means we got a dilemma. It's The Day Dilemma. Who's on the line this morning? This is uh, Michael. Good morning, Michael. How can we help you, brother? Me and my girl, uh, Tatiana, we've been, we really been dating serious for the last year. Um, um, I got my own spot. She live in the city, got a roommate. Um, I stay a little bit on the outskirts. I'm about 30 minutes out. Mm-hmm. And I really want her to move out with me. It's like every time we go somewhere, we end up and I end up staying at her spot. Her roommate always got some little slick comments. Or she always saying something like, I just feel like she be talking her shit about me, you know what I'm saying, while I'm there in my, like, and it's nothing I can do and I don't, you know what I mean, it's uncomfortable for me to be there, so I really, I'm trying to figure a way to get her to move out with me, but she not trying to do that outside of wedlock right now, Jack, I ain't trying to you know, I ain't trying to go that far just yet you mm. know what I mean? Okay, okay, so you're trying to find a compromise. Yeah. So why don't the roommate like you? It's just, just kind of antagonizing, like, you know just, she'll be, you know, when I get there she get to talking real loud about how ain't no good and all they want to do is come stay at your house and this and that like I don't have my own house I'm thinking she ain't got nobody so she jealous cause you know she ain't got nobody it don't what she's no. just straight up and down yeah oh she ain't got no curves or nothing nobody alright so she be getting on your nerves huh like, you know she'll walk in um, I'm sitting in there with her my girl we in the in the living room she get to sneeze and then, oh I'm allergic to dog there must be a dog in the house today or something like that <laughs> So maybe your girl told her something about you. No, I don't even think my girl, like, no, nah, I don't even want to. No, nah. hey, them home. girls, okay. nah, them think, girls uh, be talking. You, you got never they, know. You got to check their text messages when you go through the phone, see what they be saying about you. Yeah, don't look for a guy named, look for the homegirl, the uh-huh. best friend. They got all the juice. Right, but I get it, though. So, okay, so you, you, and the, you and the roommate bump heads, and you basically need to relocate your lady because it's causing an issue. Your lady don't want to move out with you because y'all not married. Right. What's your lady name? Tatiana. All right, what's your name again? Michael. Michael. All right, let's just try to hit Tatiana on the phone to see if we can find a resolve in this day dilemma. All right, put your phone on mute. We'll cue you in when it's time. Okay. All right. Yeah. You you, 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 you know what? You might have said something real for real, Michelle, nigga, because that's, that's what it be having. A woman say something to the friend. The friend already might Yeah. Be she knows too much of their business, especially for the girl not to check her friend. Mm. Hello. Hey, good morning. Must I speak with Tatiana, please? This is Tatiana. Hey, good morning, Tatiana. Don't mean to disturb you, but I need to speak with you. This morning, you're on the phone live with Young Jack, Miss Shanika, and Shada Shada with Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover, a nationally syndicated morning show. And we have a segment called The Date Dilemma, Tatiana. And I just found out that you have a bit of a dilemma this morning. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm listening. All right, so we spoke with a gentleman by the name of Michael. Familiar? Yes, I know Michael. Okay, who is he to you? So, um, me and Michael have been dating for about a year now. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, we're still trying to figure some things out right now. Okay, so he basically told me this, and I'm going to be frank and upfront. He said basically he's having an issue with your roommate. You guys, uh, him and your roommate does not get along together. Well, first of all, I just would like to say that he already knows how my roommate is. Um, she's just one of those type of people that just speaks her mind. Mm-hmm. And, you know, as a man, I just feel like he needs to ignore that. But secondly, um, he did ask for me to move in with him. Um, and I think it's honestly just because he doesn't like my roommate. But like I told him, I'm not trying to be shacking and laying up um, if I'm not married. You think your roommate like you? You think she's trying to, you know, take his place? This is my best friend. I've been knowing her for years. So, like, mm. she knows me out of all people. Um, I, I don't know what the issue is with them two. But have you ever tried to check her like I on know, just because I mean, it just seems inappropriate, especially if he's not responding well to it. Well, I have mentioned like when she say little things like, you know, hey, don't do that. But if I'm not around or I'm in another room, I can't really control what's being said. Like at the end of the day, he's an adult. He's an adult. I can't stop people from talking. But honestly, I think she just be playing with him. Well, ain't no plan. Is she single? Yes, yeah, she's single and probably miserable. And you trying to hook some up and she's. Standing in the way of a misery, love company don't get treated. Mm, I don't know. I didn't think about that one. But guess what? Michael's actually on the phone. We didn't tell you that, but now we're letting you know. Michael, here's Tatiana. Oh. Hey, how you doing, Tati? Hey, Michael. So oh. you think she just be playing like all the time? I do because I mean, as long as I've been knowing her, she just she jokes like that, and I told you that before. So I don't see what the issue is. As a man, I just feel like you should just let her have it and not even entertain it. I mean, I do. You know, I turn the Tika all the time, but it's like even when you're not there to look for you in the bathroom, you know, ran in the room. It's you know, it's like that's when she sneak a little something else in, here. and it's like it it feel like she be trying me as a man, like and. You don't see that aspect, I guess. Well, I apologize. I will say something to her again because I have spoke to her before. 
And like she told me, you know, she just be joking. It's not serious. But I mean, you know, it's time, time out. I hear both of y'all and I feel both of y'all because I got some friends who just kind of play a little too much and say something or have had problems with somebody I've dated before. And somewhere it's just got to be a certain level of respect. The concept of reciprocity has to be prevalent. And it don't sound like it's there because he's to the point where he's calling radio stations. We don't know you. We don't know him. We don't know your roommate. Your man, you already know how he's felt about this situation. Your friend talking about she playing. Your man is not taking that like she playing. It's causing a rift in your relationship. What y'all got going on? Yeah, well, she's always been like this. So I never really took it personal. Um... So, I don't know. I don't know what else to do besides and then, talk to her. And even her being your best friend, she could be a little overprotective because you're saying that she's always been like this. And she's been like this with you through other relationships, correct? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay, yeah. Like I said, so look. So, Michael, how, what, do we, what do we get to right here? Because this is kind of the end of the road for our call, you know, and we're trying to help y'all out. So, it sounds like you might need to kick in some dollars to help her have a spot. And then you'll have a spot close in the city with her. You ain't got to deal with a friend. What's up with that, my boy? I don't have no issue with that. Like, I don't have no issue. If, if that's going to give us the peace that we need to continue to grow and build for this marriage that you want and I want, then I can do that. I don't have an issue covering it, but I just need you to understand where I'm coming from as far as your, how your roommate be acting. I, I definitely understand. And again, I apologize. So I guess starting now, we can work towards trying to get my own place. If that makes you feel more comfortable in somewhere where it's reasonable for the both of us. Oh, that sounds good. Like that. Uh, hey, man, I'm glad y'all. Now y'all actually sound responsible, even though you was letting your friend kind of <laughs> hold him, <laughs> hold your man out a little bit, right? Too, trying his manhood. But on behalf of one eight hundred Engine the Bethune Law Firm, we're gonna hook y'all up with a hundred dollars, man. Put that hundred dollars towards your deposit on this new apartment. We gonna get ain't that right, friend? Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's what's up, man. Congratulations to y'all. So y'all, listen, see, they don't always go left. Some of them get right. Call us up. Let's talk about it. One eight four four Y U N G T L C. That's Young Jack in the streets. Morning, take over. That was the date dilemma with Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Hey, it's your girl Kiki Palmer, and I kicked it with your favorite cousin Jack. Gotta stay tapped into the number one morning show, Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. Y'all know what it is. We back at it, man. It's time yeah. for the date dilemma. All right, so let's get into it. Michael called us uh, because he's trying to convince his girlfriend she needs to come either live with him or move out because her roommate uh, is always giving him the blues. You know what I'm saying? The man say every time he come over there, she starts sneezing, talking about she allergic to dogs. She's talking about they gonna have to shampoo the car because somebody dog don't left please. He's just doing the most. Tatiana says she's basically not about to leave her situation because she doesn't want to live with Michael out of Whitlock. I mean, I get that. And she, yeah, I get that too. And then she said she ain't trying to get her own spot if he's not trying to help her with it. You should actually keep your own spot even when you marry. <laughs> no. That's a cheap spot. I'm just playing. Well, well, well. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but the good thing is it looks like they got it worked out, man. Everything gonna play out all right for him, man. So congratulations, good job, man. Communication is key. I was joking, but I was for real. I know. Wow. Oh, you a little Whoa. property on Young the side. Yo, in the streets, morning. Take a voice. Mm. Your thoughts on this day to live. Good morning, John. My name is Diamond from Atlanta. The roommate is immature, I believe, um, and it could be a few things. Like Shanika said, she just talked too much. But I feel like another thing could be, you know, she might like him. And I'm in the same situation. I have a roommate who talks way too much. She got banned from my family house for Thanksgiving because she just talks too much. You know, you I definitely put her in her place. When she do stuff like that, I'd be like, that's why I don't nobody like you now. And she get her feelings hurt. I'm just glad that, you know, they did come to an agreement and they did get that hundred dollars. I do like them as a couple. They do seem like, you know, <laughs> Hopefully they do get their place, though. But, yeah, the roommate got to go. I don't like the roommate. Good morning, y'all. This is India. I wonder if that best friend has ever been the demise of any of her friends' other relationships. Sometimes you got to watch those so-called best friends who always got something to say. Who always making, oh, I was just playing them little jokes. It's sometimes hidden animosity or uh, hidden jealousy. I ain't going to say that she need to leave a friend alone or whatnot. She need to kind of watch that friend because if she's always doing it in her relationship, is she the cause of your relationship ending? Is she jealous? Is she, do she like you or do she like the men you bring around? She got to watch this. Hi, my name is Dee. Okay, so I'm going to just say from the way he communicated, show some level of emotional intelligence. 
And I feel like women, we got to realize when we get into a relationship, we have, there's a level of maturity we have to have when we listen into our partner. If you say this to somebody, you want to be your husband, and he's telling you he feel uncomfortable, if that's your friend, you got to be able to hold your friend accountable on sex behavior, point blank, period. Oh, we got some real grown women checking in this morning. Thank you all for your calls. We greatly appreciate it. And you got to stick around because if you missed our date dilemma, you can go back and listen to our show on the streets at Meanwhile, I got the word on the streets news coming up at the 50. And if you are smarter than young jock, you can call us up right now for your chance to play. Are you smarter than jock at one 844 you? G J O C it's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Is it just me or you be talking to somebody or even dating somebody, right? And be so in love, like just love this. See, absolutely no no wrong in them. Just love them. Then one day you just like. I don't like you no more. We could be having a good day. And I just be like, I don't like you no more. I don't like the person you are. I don't like the way you move. I don't like the way you think. I just don't like you. So I I, I want to leave. You know what? Let me tell you what's so interesting. You know, we talked about this a while ago. Mm-hmm. Liking and loving are two different things, it right? It is. But do you know that the liking of the likeness to like someone is more popular than loving someone? Yeah, because you like first. Cause you could love, you got family members that you love, but you may not like them. Oh Lord, I was told that my whole life. I'm just saying, you got people mm. that you love, but you like may you not right like. Now, I love you because we family, but I may not like you because <laughs> it's just you're not a good person. Yeah. So I, it's, this is easy. I'm this is tell easy. my mama that today. Has it ever happened to you, Shawty? Well, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've yeah, I woke up and said, "No, this ain't for me." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wake Just up. Just fresh out your sleep. Fresh, fresh wake up and I be like, ooh, your breath stain. That's it. I can't deal with this for the rest of my it. life. I'm gone. Man up. Oh, I remember mean, one time I pulled this girl hair back for the first time <laughs> and she had a keyload on her ear and I was like, whoop, I'm out. If the keyload turned you off. I thought you it was so superficial. I, if for my that. lip would have touched it, I thought it would have came on my lip. Or something. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was contagious. Um, okay. I'm just saying, you know, like, it, if, if, yeah, but he didn't say he's not saying it in that kind of thing. Wait, it's just not. All right. What What was your experience, <laughs> Jack? Huh? What was your experience? Mm. Repeat man, what you said. <laughs> man, nah, man. I just I just woke up one day, man. I ain't gonna say her name, man. I just realized, man. <laughs> Please. Every Every time I woke up, she was fighting me. What? It was just always a fight. About it'll be anything. She just be, like pick a fight, and I said, you know what? I love you, but I don't like how you handle me. And she was like. Well, you 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 need to learn to like it because you're gonna be with me forever. And I was what? like, oh no, I do, no. and that was it for me. You know what I'm saying? What about the property one? Because huh? that was much better than the fight one. What well, tell me what I said? Tell me. You said that you woke up one morning and looked over and said, uh, uh-uh, the property that is in front of us is not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hey, man, life be life, my boy. <laughs> Call us up. We want to hear from you, man. Have you ever loved someone and suddenly woke up and realized you didn't like them anymore? one 844 yung That's one 986 4562 Young Jock in the streets morning to take over. Yes, sir. You know what it is. We back at it. Young Jock, Miss Shanika, and Shouty Shouty. Yes. Now, recently, this TikToker, uh, this is going viral. Couple we don't know her name. She a TikToker. TikToker. While mm. it lasts. Yeah, exactly. It's all a second. <laughs> <laughs> said, They're going to have to identify themselves as another uh, Dang. platform. Dang. That's crazy. I didn't even think of that one. Wow. Uh, TikTok <laughs> time is ticking. It is ticking <laughs> and talking. All right, we got to get into this, man. Um, she asked if it's normal to love someone and then all of a sudden not love them anymore. Hmm. And, you know, initially, Shada, you said, well, that ain't love. And I said, you know what? I, I would feel that way, too. But we confuse love with like. But being in love and actually loving are definitely different things different. as well. Yeah. Now, she didn't say in love and then you wake up and you're not. They don't work like that. Yeah. No, no I had to reevaluate. I do feel, you know, because after I got out, I definitely felt different. Well, I sat there and watched you with one of them. And I said, I don't know if he like or love this situation. But I say, the minute she do something 
I said, I don't think he gonna like her no more. And then something happened. Mm. You called me, you said, hey man, I think X, Y, Z. I said, oh, it's, it's going downhill from now. About about this a week is later. too personal. We got to It ain't personal. No, but everything you do, y'all can't, can't, if y'all can't tell us what, the reason. What, oh, you want to hear, hear what we tell them? I want to hear it. Look, I look. Okay, uh, I remember. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? You don't know which one. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> Imagine being friends with these people for so long. Like 20 years. Yeah. And then trying to figure out. Jock just been watching everybody's relationship for, from afar I'll while we're watching, watching his no, Jock, relationship on TV. Jock be, <laughs> Jock be helping me. I think he be taking out bad stuff and putting it like, I'm, I'm this great, great TV. Nah, it'll, it'll never be that. I just really, I, I, I really do. I just really. So see what the girl do to Shouty? Let's who, get back to that. What she did? Yeah, that he ain't like. Man, <laughs> Shouty over there helping the girl, helping the decorator spot. She, he done spent money, big money, help you know, just trying to help her, mm-hmm. you know, get a spot right. She had relocated, and uh, he, she ain't tell Shouty she hadn't paid that rent. <laughs> Oh yeah! Shout out about all this new stuff for the girls. <laughs> she yeah, talking about she ain't paid rent in three months. She, she talking about we well, gonna have to be out by tomorrow. He like what? <laughs> Not we, cause this is her spot. He was like, what you mean you? She was like, man, you need to get somebody to get all this stuff out of here. Oh my god! Yeah, I said it's gonna be over with after that. It was. Yeah. All right, let's very, go to the very. phone because they oh they ring, huh? I ain't tell too much business. Though. Nah, keep it moving. All right, keep it moving. <laughs> 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 Y'all talking the streets morning. Take over, man. We asking our listeners if it's normal to love someone and then all of a sudden wake up and you not love them anymore. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, can you just wake up and you be like, yeah, that ain't it. How long were you two together? Nine years. Oh, you ain't had no ring, huh? No. <laughs> you, you was tired. Yeah, I was. Shanice. You be talking to somebody and be so in love, then one day you're just like, I don't like you no more. Yes. After somebody being aggressive or just want to put their hands on you, mm. you just wake up, you like, I'm done with this bullshit. I'm not dealing with you no more. Kudos to a- you. As you should. Savannah. You be talking to somebody and be so in love, then one day you're just like, I don't like you no more. Absolutely. And it's not something that just, like, build up just overnight. It's like a thing that goes on consistently and just everything just boiled up inside of me. It's like, man, I just can't stand you anymore. Your breath stinks. You leave hair in the sink. You don't flush the toilet. And I just was like, I can't do it anymore. I can't spend the rest of my life with somebody that is literally irking my nerves every Every single day. And I was like, I, I just, I don't like them anymore. Oh. Sound fed up. She sound like she Yeah. Just, she sound like she was dating her brother. Mm-mm. What? Mm-hmm. The, mm-hmm. All the stuff that she said. That At first it, I thought it was a girl and then. She just heard her hair in the sink. Yeah. Hair in the sink and don't flush confused. the toilet. Yeah, it was a lot. But once that, once that line is crossed, everything they do is going to irritate you. Nah, you not lying nah, about that. Nah, for real, yeah. nah. <laughs> Ooh, close the door. You'll be like, bro, why you putting the ketchup on your, on your hamburger like that? <laughs> like, who, who does that? Who drinks their water <laughs> like that? Yeah. I hate like, the way you, you drink water. You have to put your tongue on the straw, then put it in your mouth. Like, I hate that. Like, why is you pressing the gas to hey, go? Hey, man, are you smarter than that? <laughs> <laughs> it's on the way. <laughs> Keep it locked, man. one 844 J O C. I I can't wait to see who's going to win today. Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over. Taking the game, the game's mine. It's Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? The king and his gang. Yeah, Only with yeah, Young Jock yeah, in the streets yeah. morning takeover. Yeah. Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. What's your name and where you calling from, friend? Um, I'm Brandy and from Stone Mountain. Okay. Okay, what's your name again? Brandy. Brandy. I really All right, Brandy. miss you, Brandy. All right, Brandy, here are the rules. You have 10 seconds to answer each question. The first person to get all three questions correctly will be the winner. You guys cannot answer each other's questions, and you cannot answer the question after your 10 seconds is up, okay? I'm nervous. Okay, I'm ready. Don't be nervous, girl. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, be you... nervous, because you ain't going to Don't move. be nervous. All right, we're going to start with you, Brandy. Uh, which fruit helps with constipation? Is it A, grapes, B, strawberries, or C, bananas? Grapes? You are absolutely correct. Okay. All right. One zero. Mr. Young Jock. Pressure. Yes, ma'am. Which kind of alcohol is Russia notoriously known for? Is it A, gin, B, rum, C, whiskey, or D, vodka? 
Russian breakfast is poached egg and potato and vodka. <laughs> Three. Five. Two. One. You're correct, Jerk. <laughs> you, like, you like Jerk? No, you're Jerk. You or like Jerk? You're right, Jerk. Okay. Uh, Brandy. Yes. Which bone are babies born without? Is it A, kneecap, B, elbow, or C, wrist? Uh, Three. Two. You are correct. <laughs> Your favorite jeans is you are, jeans, you are, ain't it? You a good guess, Uncle. Well, that's an easy one, though, because baby can't stand up. Okay. Trying to figure out what the hell they can't stand You know they got ribs. If they ain't have ribs, you couldn't pick them up. That's what we pick them up at. She know ribs know right now. Face sad. Okay. Uh, young Jack. <laughs> Mm. What was the name of the actor who played Jack Dawson in Titanic? Is it A, Johnny Depp, B, Chris Evans, C, Leonardo DiCaprio, or D, Ben Affleck? You know, I don't really know none of them people's names, the other uh, character name, but I'm going to go with C. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Three. Leonardo, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. One. Okay. You are correct. Oh, no, it's time. And Brandy, it's on you. Brandy, what okay. is the hottest continent on Earth? Is it A, North America, B, Asia, or C, Africa? Uh, Africa. Are you sure? Because it sounds like it's nobody, right. nobody, you not the host? It sounds like you it's right. You not the host. You not the host. So you call it You are like correct, that's and you are the winner, and you won a fifty dollar gas card. Woo-hoo. Oh, host that. So bad, I'm on E. Oh my goodness. You on E? I am. Oh. Jesus Christ. Well, you might that's need true. one more fill up before we get ready to get the card. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry about that, Brandy. Yeah. Brandy, uh, <laughs> congratulations. Uh, do you have any shout outs, baby girl? Um, I want to shout out my kids, myself, and I want to shout out y'all for, you know, getting me on the show. And shout out that gas light that just came on. Yeah, I'm trying to shout out the gas light, too. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you for calling and playing with us. Thank this you. Hold on. We're going to get your info, okay? Okay. All right. Test your wits. Test your knowledge for cash and prizes. Take it, take it, the game, the game's mine. It's Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? The king and his gang. gang Only with gang. Young Jock in the streets more than take off. Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? It's sponsored by the law offices of Julian Lewis Sanders and Associates. In the car rent call, 855-J Sanders. Oh, yeah, it's that time of year. Y'all know how it goes down right here in the month of March. March madness, people. Mm-hmm. How you feel about March Madness, Miss Shanika? I don't feel. <laughs> it don't do nothing for you. Not at all. That's okay. What about you, Shaw? Hey, man, bunch of basketball, right? Bunch of basketball. <laughs> the nerves of you. <laughs> all right, we got to talk about it, DJ Swin. We got to hop into it, man. The first game kicks off tonight. Yes, the play-in tournament for these four college basketball teams, and that will let us know uh, who's going to be kicking it off in the first round of the men's basketball March Madness tournament, which starts March 21st. All right. Now, as far as the uh, NCAA women's basketball tournament, the playoff four first four teams, that game starts on March 20th through the 21st in the first round for women's basketball. March Madness begins March 22nd through the 23rd. That NCAA championship game is on Sunday, April 7th. I'm talking about the women's and as far as the men's, that NCAA championship game starts or is on Monday the 8th at the State Farm Stadium in Arizona. That's a lot of basketball. Wow. How many games is that? That's a lot of games. 16? No. You got the first round, the second round, the Sweet 16, the Elite 8, the Final Four, and then the championship game. It's a lot of basketball. A lot of basketball happening, man. A lot. Miss Shanika. Yes, sir. I don't know why I'm yelling at y'all. I don't know why <laughs> Ms. either. Miss Shanika, what you got you coming excited up? that food came. Yeah. Hey. All right. Find out what Waka Flock of Flame don't want the people to know. Mm. Also, we got to get into some advice that Gilbert Arenas wanted to give uh, future women trying to get with NBA players. <laughs> yeah, very uh, interesting, right? 
And we got to clear up a, a rumor that came out just yesterday about someone owing a lot of money to MGM. Okay, all that and more coming up inside the Word on the Streets News in less than two minutes. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover with Miss Shanika. Yep, let's talk about this word on the streets news here and get into the fact that LeBron James has a new podcast on the way and he's teaming up with J.J. Reddick. The Los Angeles Lakers superstar is partnering with former NBA star J.J. Reddick on a new podcast called Mind the Game. A source says that James and Reddick initially hit it off during the NBA in-season tournament and shared a wish that there would be a podcast for fans focused on what was happening on the court. The pair shared a roughly two-minute preview of their first episode. Opens up and you slide right to the guy that's guarding. I have another uh, coverage, too. Okay. I love talking basketball, by the way. <laughs> Episodes will be available weekly on YouTube and all other podcast platforms. Everybody trying to get this Uncle Shay Shay and Ocho Cinco money. Yeah, it'll never be another Shay Shay. Well, I don't think that they're trying to be in the same lane as them. I mean, LeBron James is definitely well, LeBron James. Too. They're talking about sports. And he had like his barbershop talk show like before Way that before, right yeah. yeah okay so um so yeah he's been in this podcasting lane now it seems that his wife savannah james has teased starring in her own podcast about two months ago and i guess it will be called everybody's crazy along with a co-host and Oh, I know who uh, April McDaniels is. Okay, well, we'll see how that pans out. I just like when the women that we know for being quiet and, you know, minding their business and not being associated with the things of the world and just kind of being them and doing them. I don't like when they start talking. <clears throat> not saying that she doesn't have a voice that needs to be heard. I'm just saying I like her from afar because... I think it'll just open a door that doesn't need to be open. Speaking of a door that doesn't need to be open, mm-hmm. Gilbert Arenas is giving tricking advice for future hosts. NBA player, we'll pay whatever for the first night. Yeah. Because we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. For all my future 304s, get you some NBA players. Think about it. The NBA player on the lowest end, on the brokest NBA. He gonna pay you about five grand a month just to f*** with you. So if you got three of them, that's 15 grand a month just on the bottom end. Now you talking about you got like a James Harden, yeah. Paul George or something, or, or <laughs> me. Heels, yeah. you, you talking about just on f- around with you, you talking about 10, 20 grand a month just to be cool. Wow. And you got to do everything they say. And when they say it, that's yeah. the part that they left out. Yeah. Don't let no man control you, girl, with their money. I'm just saying. I mean, it's some people that are that are take the job easily. There's some women who gonna but look at be about your business. A job you gotta do with your job. So they do. Yep, you gotta be on call. That's why they call them Shut call up. girls. Moving right, but you ain't gotta <laughs> use your <laughs> your stuff to do it. <laughs> All right, uh, walk up, walk up, lame has reportedly told the judge that he wants to keep the records of his divorce from Tammy Rivera sealed. So they haven't officially divorced yet, but I mean, that's rightfully so. Why would he want people in his business? I mean, they cited irretrievably irretrievably broken and claiming there was no reasonable hope of reconciliation in the fouling. That's all we need to know. I mean, we didn't even really need to know that. But once you start getting into these filings, you get into people's business and their financials and things that the public shouldn't know. So, damn right, Waka. All right, that is the Word on the Streets news. I am Mishanika. You guys can follow me at Mishanika and follow us at Streets Morning Takeover. And it's also being brought to you by Bader Scott Accident Attorneys. Thank you, Mishanika. The Love Doc Jock is coming up right now. You can hit me. 1-844-Y-U-N-G-J-O-C Again, that's 1-844-986-4562 Want to talk to you this morning, all right? Make sure you keep it right here where you got it, baby Young Jack in the streets morning take over It's about that time for the Love Doc Jack Help me help you help okay. me Okay, come on, what's your problem? And this guy will either help or hinder your relationship Who do I think I am? Why I tell people that? Either way, he's a man for the job It's Young Jack in the streets morning take over Young Jack in the streets morning take over You're on with the Love Doc Jack How may I help you? 
Yeah, so I just need a little help. There's a dude that I like, but I can't talk to him because he knows my ex-husband. Okay. So everybody makes a big deal every time me and him around each other. But I really like this dude. Like, uh, what's the what's what's the relationship between him and your ex-husband? They don't even really know each other, but they don't hang together. Oh well, what's the problem? Go for what you know. You ain't with your husband no more. I'm not. Okay, but so their what? Their parents are best friends. You say what? They parents are best friends. They ain't got nothing to do with you. They parents being best friends don't make you do do at night. Does the guy like you as much as you like him? He likes me more. Oh. Uh-huh. Well, go for what you know. What's the problem? I don't want no drama. Uh, I don't what, like drama. Why is it gonna be drama? You ain't you divorced? I am. You've moved on. He's moved on. Yep. But have you moved on inside his circle? Is the that question. ain't his cousin? <laughs> <laughs> You lame girl. Oh, Go find man. something else, man. <laughs> are, they, are they related? They could. Might They're well not be. related. Oh, well, listen. They me... probably call each other. They family probably <laughs> call each other cousins. You listen. done got caught up in they the cross. They do. They do. Listen, let me tell you something. If you really want to see what this world has in store for you, explore your options. Period. Point blank. I'm not going to sit here and tell you to go mess with somebody's friend. But if they ain't friends and, 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 and it ain't no union between the two, Hey, man, have your shot at it. Okay. And don't talk to no more of their cousins after this. don't do it. Now, listen. <laughs> but, 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 but I got to I gotta add this part to it. Y'all got to have a real solid understanding off rip. Y'all ain't doing this just to be trying it out. Because if you really trying to make something of it, then it's worth it. If you just trying to get you a quick one, just keep it all private and do your thing and keep it moving. That's the love dot jot. Now, if you got a small business and want to be spotlighted, here's a chance to do that. The number is one eight four four Y U N G J O C. Again, that's one eight four four nine eight six four five six two. Keep it right here with women who like to sleep with their husbands' friends. Wow. No. Nah, just right. Keep it right here. Mm. <laughs> Young Jack in the streets morning takeover. Young Jack in the streets morning takeover. Who's this on the phone this morning? It's Clutch. Hey, Clutches, who who are you? I got shot on the phone. Ah, oh, oh, you the, you're you, the infamous Clutch. You the Uber driver. Yeah. yeah. We've been trying to find you Ooh. all. Why? So how did you hear, uh, how did you know to call the mm. number? You was listening? Yeah, I was listening. You found my phone? Yeah, I got the phone, Shawty. Can you bring it back down to the station? Yeah, I can for a little, little small denomination. Oh, you know, man. <laughs> I got you. You, you got shot it on tip right. good, so don't don't bleed. Nah, nah, that. nah. nah don't don't don't, don't, don't bleed. Look, don't look. do that, son. So, nigga. So, so, so right now, knowing who phone is, I need a whole band. Oh Jesus! Oh, oh. Good. man, we just talked all the way to work. We Trump supporters and everything. I know you ain't oh, been trying yeah. to charge me no band. All right, for you, man, for you, I do it for even five hundred. <laughs> Cut it in half. I, I want five hundred too. That boy, talking about twin. I get. I need them bands. So you gonna give them five hundred? <laughs> I told him to bring it on. I told him to bring it on. <laughs> Man, I hey. didn't going on. If you gonna get your phone back, I know I can definitely get about a band on the street for it right now. I know that right. Man, if you take that case off, that phone is broke all up. Hey man, it, it ain't. It ain't about what the phone is. It's about who phone it is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man, you did not seem like no thug when we was on the way. I ain't no thug. I don't want to have to report you to Uber now. <laughs> Dang, Shawty you don't make me go that Shawty route. will report you. You all over the radio now. 14, 15, 16 different states. They all know you clutch the Uber driver. You got this fire up. I'm, I'm on the way right now. Bring it on. Bring it on. All right. You stop and grab me some coffee right quick. <laughs> Did my wife call? Yeah, your wife called. <laughs> <laughs> What's she talking about, Clutch? You ain't pick up the phone. <laughs> yeah, hey, I picked up. I said, oh. what's, up, what's up, baby? How you doing? Oh. She said, you doing, I said, nah, I got a phone, though. So I'm going to call it right now. I thought you were going to give me a band and bring that phone back up, though. Oh, I know she on the phone, though. I got you, man. Nah, she ain't go. <laughs> she ain't go. Yeah, she... She had me for a smaller price, too. She said, can you do a little bit better? Uh, man. Don't tell you $500 right now. Hey, man. We waiting on your clutch, man. I got you, bro. I appreciate you. All right. I'll be down there, y'all. What you going to give me when I pull up, man? 500 <laughs> 500 Penis. All right. <laughs> 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 All right. See you in a minute, man. Appreciate you. All right. Y'all on the way. Hi. 
It's time for Small Business Spotlight. Giving back to the community. When Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. Yeah, this dig at Pierce in the City, man. Digging your skin, because we all got hoes, man. Y'all come follow me. Instagram, Pierce in the City. I'm at 555 Whitehall Street, downtown Atlanta, Suite M13. I got the best prices in town. Nobody can compete with my piercing prices. I'm the best worker in town. I'm the best at doing this. You want the best piercing with the best prices is unbeatable. Come to Pierce in the City. Digging your skin, because we all got hoes. Every morning I listen to your drop at the streets want to take over. That's right, that's right, that's right. Hey, man, uh, I enjoyed you guys this morning. Yep. Laughs were amazing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> your stories were absolutely phenomenal this morning, Mr. Nigga. Shouty, mm-hmm. uh, you definitely, you are who you are. <laughs> 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 sound about right. No, man, I love y'all, man. Hey, uh, tonight, join me. Come hang out with me. Be in the city. You know where I'm at, man. Yep. Uh, you know, feel free to go on my IG. I can tell you everything that's going on in the city. Shouts out to everybody celebrating the birthday. It's still Pisces season, right? That's what's up, man. That's what's up. What you got going, Shy? Nothing. I just seen a meme that said, stay away from men who have been waiting for you for years. Yes. Sir. Oh, you better. Not the, yeah, nah, just, the plane. We're gonna talk about it another day. We should bring talk about it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay then. What's up, Sean? Yeah, I'm with it. Stay away from him. <laughs> 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 hey man, we're gonna catch y'all on the rebound, man. Hey, continue to make your day uh be a good day, man. Be breast, be blessed, yes. be prosperous. Be breast. Both. Yeah, but that too. All of them. Be breasty. Yes. T two. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we love y'all, man. We out of here. All Catch y'all on the rebound. Young yeah. Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover.